Okay, time for another video. This is a BNC connector. They used to connect the uh, aerial to the rear of a communications radio. This particular BNC connector has been crimped, and I use that word rather loosely, um, squashed with a pair of pliers. Now, um, if you're going to if you're going to work in my trade, please get the right tools. What this actually tells me is you didn't have the correct tool to terminate the uh, the braid sleeve on this connector, which probably means you didn't have the right tool to connect the centre pin either. That's the little gold pin that's down the middle in there. If you don't connect that little gold pin down the middle, you're on a hiding to nothing from the very beginning. Now, if you want to use the right tools for the trade, they're available at Ideal Electrical. Um, they're actually supplied by a company called Computer Dynamics um, in New Zealand and they uh, hand long tools. Everything's made in China today. So this particular tool here is a, I'll read the uh, stock code off it, it's a CT332. That's the stripping tool. And this tool is also made by hand long tools and if I can read the code here, it is CT-BNC. Now this particular hand along tool is actually this one here. I'm not sure if my camera will, will um, focus on it, but the hand along tool number is HT5133C. So now there's no excuse not to use the right tool for the job. Okay, now what I'm going to do now, I'll put those to one side, is we're going to have a little demonstration on how you actually make a BNC connector. And hopefully I can do this in camera so that everyone can see. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the, the connector packet. Inside this connector packet is obviously the body of the BNC connector, there it is there and two small parts, which inevitably are the parts that get lost. There's a tiny little gold centre pin and the outer braid crimp. First thing to do is to slip the outer braid crimp over the coax cable so it can't get lost. And I highly recommend you put that little gold centre pin somewhere safe. I'm going to hold it between my lips. Okay, and you get your stripping tool the reason for the yellow float on my stripping tool is I keep losing them. So, one of the strip, strip cutters cuts through the braid, through the outer black jacket and through the braid, and the other just cuts through the outer black jacket. Okay, so the first thing to do is to terminate the centre pin. I'm just going to use a pair of very sharp scissors here to cut away the uh, insulation around the center. And I'll slide the center pin on here. And bearing in mind I can't see what the camera is seeing at the moment. So there's the center pin. Now I have seen a YouTube video of an idiot, and I use that word deliberately, just popping the centre pin on like this. What a complete idiot. You need to actually make sure this termination is correct, and there's two ways to do it. There's that you can solder it if you wish. There's a tiny little hole in the side of the gold centre pin. But the, uh, the best way to do it is to actually crimp it. There's a little shoulder against that centre pin and just crimp it up. And I just I check to make sure that that's adequately uh, tight on there by giving it a little tug to make sure it's not going to come loose. And then I strip this outer jacket so that the braid is exposed. Here we go. The braid's exposed. Then I'm just going to push this gently to one side to create a little gap because the, the, the knurled part of this connector has to go up underneath that braid. 
So I'm going to push that up over there. It's important that there is not a short between the braid and the center pin. And I'll push that up into there. And it should go home with a little click. And then we'll slide this sleeve up over here like that. Okay. And then we will crimp this up as well. And that is how you terminate a BNC connector. And it's how it's done correctly. Okay, folks. Um, you guys have a good day. Spot you later.